My name is Jonas Englund and I'm a mechanical engineer at NPR Associates. I've been working in the nuclear industry a little over five years now and I've spent most of my time supporting the development of a low enriched uranium fuel to be used in the conversion of several research reactors. Converting research reactors is part of the Global Threat Reduction Initiative which is aimed at making the world a safer place and also realizing the benefits of those facilities. Scientists and engineers use research reactors to advance our knowledge in the sciences of biology, chemistry, and physics. And they apply that knowledge to make our world a better place. We also use research reactors to develop uh, new materials and fuels that can be used to provide the world with safe, reliable, and energy efficient power. Every day I go to work is really exciting because I get to work on those projects and knowing that I'm a part of that mission is what really makes my job enjoyable. And every morning when I wake up, I know that I'm going to go and help clients and support plants that are trying to provide the nuclear promise. And I also know that I'm going to be working on new reactor designs that will be the future of nuclear power in America. And it's really exciting to know that I'm going to get to offer the world a future where there are plants that have new benefits. They have passive safety systems, they have less waste, they're environmentally friendly and they're very reliable. That's exciting to work on those projects. The world right now needs more power. As part of the world growing and developing, we need clean sources of electricity. We can't do it all through fossil fuels. If we do that right, we'll destroy the world. And nuclear offers one of those sources of clean power. It works when the sun's not shining, and it works when the wind's not blowing or the waves aren't moving up and down. And because of that, it's very reliable and it can power a lot of homes with it. And I think it's important that we recognize that it has to be part of the solution to global climate change. Without it, you know, we're never going to address the issues we have right now. We're never going to solve the problem.